Hi everyone, welcome to Evie's Toy House, and today we have a really fun video. I got a deck of the Top Trump Specials Miraculous Ladybug cards. These are actually from the UK because they don't sell them in the US. So if you're interested in these cards for yourself, you can check out the Amazon UK store. So let's go ahead and open it and... And let's take a look. So here are the instructions on how to play the game. This one's an ad, and oh my goodness, look at this, oh wow. So we have different colors, I think the purple ones are the villains, and we have the green ones for, um, for Carapace, yellow for Queen Bee, orange for Rena Rouge, and ooh, more purple, green for Cat Noir, and of course red for Ladybug. So our first card here is for Marinette. It says, Marinette is always looking on the bright side of life and goes out of her way to help others solve their problems. Marinette has chosen to defend and protect Paris from evildoers with the help of her Kwame Tiki. Here's the back. I think the backs for all these are the same. I won't look at those anymore. Next card is for Tiki. Tiki is Marinette's Kwame and they have a lot of affection for each other. Tiki goes everywhere with Marinette in her daily life, even school. This is because she may need to transform into Ladybug at any time. Here's Ladybug. Super strong, super fast, super brave. Ladybug is a superhero. She knows how to stay focused on her missions and find solutions easily, even though she is young. She's the only one who can capture Akumas. Next is Adrian. To the outside world, it looks like Adrian has the perfect life, but Marinette knows the real story. Adrian's father is cold and controlling, has very little time for him, and allows Adrian zero freedom. Next is Plague. His magical powers allow Adrian to transform into Cat Noir. Plague is lazy and hates being ordered about. He doesn't take missions as seriously as Tiki and does not have the same knowledge as she does. Here's Cat Noir. He is super fast, lively, and full of love for Ladybug. Like Adrian, he has a lot of self-esteem, which is a help and a hindrance. His power is the Cataclysm, which can destroy anything he touches. Ooh, here's Gabriel. Adrian's dad, Gabriel, is a talented fashion designer. People are fascinated by him, not only because of the originality of his designs, but also because of the air of mystery that surrounds him. Here's Naru. Naru is knowledgeable, helpful, and kind, but he is treated like a slave by Gabriel and is completely under his will. Naru is distressed that Gabriel is helping someone use the Butterfly Miraculous for evil reasons. Hawkmoth. In his goal for ultimate power, Hawkmoth needs to capture Ladybugs and Cat Noir's Miraculouses. To do this, he uses his Akuma to transform civilians into villains who battle Paris's greatest heroes. Here is Aya. The budding news reporter Aya is the author of The Ladybug, a popular blog dedicated to Ladybug. She is also best friends to Marinette, but doesn't know who her alter ego is. Here is Trix. Trix gets along well with Aya and is impressed with her observational skills and heroic qualities. He is friendly, encouraging, and wise, and adept at giving good advice in a polite way. Rina Rouge. Aya transforms into Rina Rouge. Immediately comfortable with her new role as a superhero, Aya, the superhero specialist, lives the absolute dream, fighting villains alongside Ladybug and Cat Noir. This is Chloe. You're better off on the right side of her than in her bad books. She gladly uses her position for her own benefit, such as securing a parking spot for the teacher in return for a good grade. She strongly dislikes Marinette, seeing her as a rival. And here's Pollen. Pollen is obedient and respectful towards her owner, calling Chloe my queen. She gives the wearer of the Bee Miraculous the power to immobilize villains. Here's the Queen Bee. As soon as she becomes Queen Bee, instead of keeping her identity secret, she is quick to tell the whole of Paris that it is her, Chloe Bourgeois. 
the new superhero in Ladybug and Cat Noir's ally. Here's Nino. Nino is a DJ in his spare time and manager of the school radio station. Unlike his best friend, Adrian, he doesn't enjoy being rushed. They complement each other well. Here's Waze. Waze is kind, compassionate, and helpful. Waze is very loyal to his master, telling him immediately if he senses something wrong and whether he fully agrees or not, trusting Master Fu's decisions. Next is Carapace. Ladybug is faced with a difficult mission. She needs the help of a new hero, Carapace, in defeating evil. As Carapace, Nino doesn't change his personality, even though he has new responsibilities. The Collector Feeling betrayed by his son due to the loss of an ancient spellbook, Gabriel Agreste evilizes himself when becoming the Collector. He wants to build a new book using Parisian life as inspiration. Oh, here's a siren. Ondine tries to tell her prince how she feels, but it is all in vain. Hawk Moth takes advantage of her grief and akumatizes her. He offers her an underwater kingdom for her prince. Parisians will be like fish out of water. Here's the Frozer. When the closure of the skating rink threatens Felipe's job, Hawk Moth takes advantage of Felipe's disbelief and offers to help him change all of Paris into Felipe's ice kingdom. I remember that episode. It was really good. Next, we have Repost. In order to integrate the prestigious fencing academy of Dragon Court, a young fencer has to defeat Adrian. On losing the duel, she becomes akumatized into Repost and begins to seek revenge for her stolen victory. Here is Glaciator. Andre's ice creams are magical and makes those eating them fall in love forever. Unfortunately, this doesn't work for Marinette. Andre is devastated that the magic fails and becomes akumatized into Glaciator. Here's Bafana. When Marinette decides to leave her grandma to hang out with her friends on her surprise birthday, her grandma is akumatized into Bafana. Bafana aims to restore her matriarchal power. Next, we have Mellow Dictator. Not being able to meet his daughter's requirements makes the mayor of Paris very unhappy. Akumatized as Mela Dictator, he makes all of her dreams come true. Next, we have the Dark Owl. Mr. Demakos, who masquerades as the caped hero, the Owl, becomes akumatized as Dark Owl. With true superpowers and formidable weapons, he must defeat Ladybug and Cat Noir to become the sole hero of Paris. Despair Bear. After being nasty to her classmates and disappointing Adrian, Chloe wants to prove that she can be kind. However, Despair Bear would not accept this and does everything in his power to annoy her friends. Captain Hard Rock. It's the annual national music festival and Hawk Moth akumatizes Julica's mother into Captain Hard Rock. Captain Hard Rock fires cannonball shaped speakers which try to drown out the festival music. Next, we have Robustus. When Max and his robot friend Markov become separated, Hawk Moth akumatizes Markov into Robustus. He then gives him the power to bring all inanimate objects to life in order to keep him from being separated from Max ever again. And here's our last one, Sapotas. The Sapotas are tired of being punished. From now on, they can do whatever they want, stay up all night, go out, eat lots of desserts, drink orange juice, and go to the amusement park. And that's it! So that's all the cards! Weren't these fun? Do you have a favorite hero and villain? Let me know down below in the comment section and I'll see you next time. Bye!